Epigenetics is the study of heritable changes in gene expression which do not stem from changes in DNA sequence. You might think to yourself, how is it that despite all your cells containing the exact same genetic material, not all cells develop in the same way? Well, the answer lies beyond their genes, or perhaps more accurately, over their genes, as the word epigenetics quite literally implies something over or around the genome. Cells, while containing the exact same genetic information, have different epigenomes. An epigenome consists of the molecules around the DNA whose main purpose is to tell it what to do. There are three main types of epigenetic modification mechanisms. The first of these mechanisms are microRNAs, which are small, non-coding strands of RNA that are complementary to messenger RNA that is transcribed from your DNA. MicroRNA binds to select messenger RNA strands to cause them to break down, which reduces the expression of the particular gene that the messenger RNA was a transcript of. Another epigenetic mechanism is histone modification. DNA is wrapped around proteins called histones in the nucleus, and therefore the modification of these histones acts as a way to stop or promote gene expression. Histone acetyltransferase, or HAT, and histone deacetylase, or HDAC, are enzymes that modify these proteins to relax or condense segments of DNA to make them more or less accessible to be transcribed. The third mechanism is DNA methylation, which is the process of adding a methyl group to DNA to stop the transcription of particular genes. This is carried out by DNA methyltransferases, or DNMTs, which are enzymes that come in two flavors, de novo DNMTs and maintenance DNMTs. De novo DNMTs act to transfer a methyl group to cytosine, which is one of the four nucleotides that make up DNA. This methyl group interferes with the binding and recruitment of proteins responsible for gene transcription. Maintenance DNMTs are responsible for maintaining the pattern of methylation in the DNA as it undergoes replication during cell division. The maintenance of DNA methylation during replication is also what allows these modifications to be heritable, as methylation patterns are maintained in gametes. What separates epigenetic modifications from genetic modifications is that epigenetic modifications are reversible. Several mechanisms exist to replace methylated cytosine molecules with unmethylated ones. Mechanisms also exist to inhibit maintenance DNMTs from replicating methylation patterns as the cell divides. Now that we have a basic understanding of the epigenetic mechanisms, let's discuss how they can affect our well-being. Major Depressive Disorder, or MDD, is currently the primary cause of disability worldwide. It is evident that various life experiences can act as a trigger for depression but it may come as a surprise to you that certain epigenetic mechanisms can also increase the likelihood of developing this disorder. The most well-studied epigenetic mechanism that promotes MDD is DNA methylation. Many studies have been conducted to compare the degrees of DNA methylation between MDD patients and healthy individuals, and it has been found that patients with MDD have increased levels of DNA methylation around the SLC6A4 gene which is the gene that encodes for a protein responsible for transporting serotonin. When DNA methylation downregulates this gene, it could lead to complications in serotonin transportation, which would in turn contribute to the development of MDD. It is unsettling to think how such small modifications such as DNA methylation can influence our mental health. So what can we do about it? Well, luckily scientists have developed tools that can modify and correct the various issues that arise from epigenetic causes. Zinc finger nucleases, transcriptional activator-like effectors, or TAIL, and clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, or CRISPR, are a few examples. Most of the tools that we mentioned are able to alter DNA methylation patterns. For example, TAIL has demonstrated the ability to demethylate specific nucleotides in human cells by fusing with the TET1 enzyme. An alternative approach for inducing targeted DNA demethylation is diffused thymine deglycosylase to the DNA binding domain of a transcription factor. These techniques can potentially be used to demethylate the locus that encodes SLCA4, as well as other methylated genes that are associated with MDD. Overall, epigenetic modifications play an important role in the development of major depressive disorder. While there are potential methods that can be used to correct these modifications, most of these techniques are still in their infancy. 
Still, by far the most common treatment methods focus on temporarily regulating the levels of molecules such as serotonin and epinephrine in the body. Hopefully, as epigenetic treatment techniques develop further, there can be a more permanent fix to this globally prevalent disorder.